Today I'm going to demonstrate how an integration between SAP and Stripe can work. This is a very simple use case. We are going to create a sales order at SAP. That sales order will then be released to Stripe. Stripe will then mail an invoice link to the end customer that can pay for that invoice. And once that is done, Stripe notifies back the sales order so that the delivery arrangements can be completed. So let's start. I'm jumping here to SAP Business by Design, but in fact, this integration could be done with any other ERP. As long as there are API capabilities, we are good to go. So I start here looking for the sales orders and in here, clicking on this link, I can see all the sales orders that are there in Business by Design. So next step, just to make things a bit quicker, I will copy an existing sales order. So let's flag this one, for example, and click on copy. Copying it allow me to not waste time filling several different fields. So it came, they all came already populated for me. I will change the quantities of the items those. We can see here that we have cheese pizza and pepperoni pizza, and I will order six of each. Six cheese pizza and six pepperoni pizza. Once that is concluded, I can click on save. Saving the order generates already the order number for me, but I really need to release it first. So then the integration can start. Releasing it, it, show, it brings us back to the main sales order page and we can just refresh it and see that we have here a brand new sales order. Let me just take a look into it a little bit more in details. So click here on view all and change it to the document flow tab. This here will signalize for us in which step our integration is. So, so far we just have the sales order, which is okay, we haven't done any payments and the integration didn't even pick it up yet. We are waiting for by design to signalize for Stripe that the invoice is created. It happens once every one minute roughly. So at any moment now, we are going to receive a notification from Stripe saying, hey, there's a new invoice here waiting for be paid. The invoice refers to the sales order for 793 and there's a total amount of $185. And there we go, we just received it. I'm gonna click here on the notification and I receive in this case via email, but it could be any other notification systems. I have here the link for paying the invoice and now I'm wearing the hat of the end customer. I receive the invoice and I'm going to proceed with the payment. I do that by just clicking in the link and this redirects me to an invoice page hosted by Stripe. So being the integration builder, I don't even have to worry about creating a UI just to present invoices. There we go. We have the details of the invoice, the value, uh, the reference for the sales order in SAP. And even if I look here at the invoice details, I can see the quantities of pepperoni and cheese pizzas that I just changed. So there we go. Let's proceed with the payment. I click on payment with the payment card that was already filled for my account in this case. And yeah, payment is concluded. What we can see afterwards is that if we go back to the SAP system, let me go back right there. Normally we only have here the sales order, but now the sales order has been paid in Stripe, Stripe notified back business by design. And in this case, we need to have the delivery being arranged for that specific sales order. In fact, we can even expand this a little bit and show all the transactions that were done for that specific sales order. That's the conclusion from the SAP side, but we can also take a look at this on the Stripe dashboard. So if I take a look at dashboard.stripe.com and here on the payments tab, I have a list of all the invoices for my account. And in here, we are going to see the last invoice which is right there, $185, as we mentioned before. So I'm going to click here on the invoice number and we are seeing all the details of the pepperoni pizza with a quantity of six and cheese pizza as well. And not only that, I do have a metadata reference for the other order that is in SAP. That was it. Hope you enjoyed the demo. See you next time.